Greetings everyone. I hope you're all well. <laughs> okay, so uh, today is uh, Wednesday the 14th of June and as it's a Wednesday I thought well why not have a Willow Wednesday. Woohoo! Um, so um, I've got some Willow cuttings here and um, there's probably, I don't know, maybe five in there, four or five, I can't quite remember. Um, but um, only one of them hasn't propagated so far so um, what I'm going to be doing in this video is um, first of all I'll show you the parent of these where I got these from um, which is looking a bit ill at the moment funnily enough um, I think it's got a major parasite problem I don't know if they're white fly or something but yeah I'm gonna have to tackle that uh, as soon as the Sun disappears um, so yeah these were actually cuttings from the base of that willow and they were only about that long when um, when I first took them off um, so I wasn't expecting a lot but um, as you can see um, they've grown a lot since then I mean this is probably uh, what, maybe three weeks after taking these uh, little cuttings it's new growth as well though they were like new little shoots so they were only like I say about that big um, so yeah, as you can see, lots of dangly dangly roots. <laughs> so I'm going to be repotting these today. Um, like I say, one of them hasn't um, thingy bobbed rooted. This one here. So uh, I'll just leave them in the water anyway. But yeah, the um, willows are kind of well known for rooting really easy in uh, water. You can just literally, you know, just buy you can just buy like cuttings from eBay or something like that and just stick them in water and, and they'll root um, of which I've already done and um, I'll uh, also show you that in the next clip as well because uh, that one's doing quite well so yeah um, I'll show you the uh, parent plant now so this is the willow here that I took the cuttings off and as you can see we had to prune it quite the way back at the top there and there was loads of growth here at the bottom it actually looks like it's uh, it's got a major infestation or something now actually looking at all that white stuff but yeah these are all the shoots that it pushed out after we pruned it so I took a few cuttings off that and uh, yeah but yeah I don't know what that is I can't quite see because the sun's on it but I'm guessing it's not a good thing. See that. I've got like a, a piece of string tied to it here that goes to this um, ribs here, which has got the air layer on. And I just did that just to try and make sure that the pot was as level as possible because it was kind of leaning that way. <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, that's not good. Whatever's going on here. I'm going to have a look at that, I think. But yeah, that's the actual willow. Okay, so this is a willow that I purchased, um, I think it was last year sometime, and it was literally just a stick. So I had to uh, propagate the thing myself, which was cool. Um, a bit similar to this one here. I'll just show you this one. So this one hasn't turned out as well, uh, even though it's propagated, you've got all this here and the shoots all the way down here. Um, but yeah, this one was doing really well. It had uh, three really long shoots, so I cut them back and that's now forced it to branch out into, into two on each three of these little branches here. That's that little dude. And these are the three flamingo willows that I've got kind of bonsaiing at the moment. They're going through an interesting stage at the moment where the pink are now starting to, to turn into a lime green colour at the very tips here. And um, with this one, I um, basically cut the long shoots back hoping that they will start putting out into two from, from 
on those buds up there. Uh, whether it will, I don't know, but it was an experiment. The other willow did um, back there, so uh, I'll keep my eye on that. Um, this one here is starting to actually push buds out. I don't know if you can see that there. I'll try and keep this steady as I'm recording it, but there you can see the two buds that are just popping up now. So they will hopefully shoot out into two branches. And that will happen on all of the ones that I've cut back hopefully. So I'm going to be keeping my eye on that and hope that that works. So those are the flamingo willows. I'm currently trying a bonsai. And I'll post some updates on those as well for you later on. And see how they progress. This is the larger flamingo willow. Um, I've cut this one back also to try and get it to branch out. I'll try and zoom in there so you can see a bit better. Like for here for example, so this one was cut back which caused those two buds to shoot out here. So I've kind of tried to do that as much as possible as pushing it right back so that it starts branching out quite low down. So that will help kind of make it look a bit more bushier, I suppose. <laughs> so these are the ones that are three separate ones, all entwined around this bamboo. I'm letting these buds grow here as well. Normally I would have picked these off, but I actually want them to, to shoot a bit because I want to propagate them. I have took some off already um, and they are sat in water. But yeah, I'm going to try and propagate some more as well, just in case. So that's the bigger one. And this one is another flamingo willow. Uh, this one was actually the grafted one. It had that ugly graft on it. Well, it still has, but I'm trying to actually air layer that off. Hence the, uh, the kind of tin foil thing going on here. I have done a video on this, but um, I'm going to wait and see if it works before I put it all together. Um, it was a bit of a, a nightmare. I tried using a pot first, but that failed and I had to take the whole thing off and, and just stick to polythene. And then I wrapped some tin foil around it just to keep that moisture and heat locked in there. So I'm going to be keeping an eye on that also when it comes to air layering, if you've got it potted. Um, always try and remember to, uh, to rotate your pot at least every two days, because otherwise you're only gonna get one side of, of root growth because of the heat hitting the one side and not the other side. So make sure you, you rotate your pots for even root growth. There you go, little tip for you. Often gets missed, you know. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many people miss it. So that's that little dude. I'm looking forward to cutting this one back as well. But for now, I'm just gonna leave him be. Okay, so I have, uh, I have prepared these uh, three pots here. I've just half filled them with cocoa soil. I'm not gonna be using anything fancy. I'm not gonna be using any fancy bonsai soils here. Um, you know, I don't see, see the need for any of them, to be honest but that's just my, my kind of personal opinion. Um, so because these are only little kind of shoots, uh, um, little starters I suppose, I think um, they'll be fine in just some of this um, cocoa soil. So yeah, there's the, uh, the one anyway, got lots of little roots on him. So I'm just gonna try and pot him up. Well, I've got the camera in between my arms, which is always fun. So, I hope you're all doing well out there, and all you fellow Brits out there, I hope you're keeping safe in this warm weather that we're having. <laughs> we're not really used to it. Okay, just slowly easing in there. Now this, um, this Fertilize, uh, sorry, this compost does have um, kind of fertilizer built into it as well, in, in the kind of sense of these little green 
things. So if you see these little green ball things here, that's what they are. They're like fertilizer, like a time release type thing. Not that these really need them, but... Um, <laughs> parent one of this is anything to go by these are going to be very very vigorous indeed so I'm gonna to have, to, have to keep my eye on this um, I'll probably have to repot it before the uh, before the summer's out to be honest but uh, we shall see okay let's have a look at another one and you can tell by the color I don't know if you can see the color so the darker is the dark, darker green is the original kind of um, where the cutting was so it was kind of only about that, that long to here and it's, it's put on that much growth in a matter of like the last sort of like I don't know three weeks maybe so yeah I'm gonna have to keep my eye on these little dudes this dude is as well um, that's it another thing as well I've noticed if you have um, now some things it it probably won't work but uh, what I've noticed is with um, uh, jades for example um, this kind of naturally occurs when you leave it in a certain position facing the Sun or the light um, it will naturally bend towards that light so you can actually create a natural bend with some things without wire just by leaving them for um, a while at a certain position and let them bend towards the light and then if you turn it back around say 180 degrees what will happen then is like the top new growth will then bend that way so you, you actually get a natural S shape um, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute with one of my jades that I've been experimenting with um, so yeah, sometimes you don't have to use wire, you don't have to use directional pruning, you can just use natural light to do the work for you. you just got to be a bit more patient, that's all. But that's what bonsai is, patience. In most cases. You too. Right. 
I shall water those in as well. And the soil is a little bit moist, but um, I'll still water them in. And I'll just show you this jade here. So there you go. So this little guy here, I had it facing the window, kind of going this way, so it was leaning towards the window, trying to get more light. And then I've kind of rotated it 180 degrees this way so now it's kind of going oh okay now I've got to go this way to try and get back to the light so that kind of gives you some idea of um, yeah of using lights to your advantage in getting a natural flow of movement there you go okay so there we go four potted up little uh, willows and I'm going to keep this little guy in the willow, in the willow, in the water. Oh dear, Jay. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to keep this little willow in the water and see if he um, does decide to uh, join the party here for Willow Wednesday. <laughs> oh dear, crack me up. Okay, I think that's it for this Willow Wednesday. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That'd be great. That'll um, help keep me uh, keep me going. And um, I'll do some future updates on this, these little dudes. Um, so I'm just going to go and get them watered in now. And uh, I'll see you again soon. So guys, take care. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you again soon.